I'm back with even more of YouTube's creepiest ghost videos. That's right, if you're a fan of this channel, you probably know what this is. But if you're here for the very first time, let me fill you in. There is a channel called Bizarre Bub, and they upload creepy compilations of YouTube's scariest ghost sighting videos. Now, I'm somewhat of a ghost skeptic, but I've also had some very creepy experiences that I can't explain. So I'm willing to believe that some of these videos may in fact be real. But also, as I've said, some people just obviously fake these things, and they are often hilarious. So these streams are often a great blend of humor and horror. So if you do enjoy, please feel free to subscribe. I do loads of streams exactly like this over on my Twitch all the time. And I'd love for you to check them out live. But if for whatever reason you can't catch a stream, sub to this channel so you never miss the uploaded VOD here. Anyways, all that being said, I hope you enjoy this stream. It's got a cold chill down my neck. That was weird. I got a chill. I got a chill right as the video started. Ha! <laughs> so just put break up now in chat, lol. <laughs> Hi, Minecraft 45. Bro's getting haunted already. Look. I'm just saying, one of my ghost experiences that I've had in life was captured on one of the streams where we were watching these type of videos, so. And in this very office, so. It's, look, it, it, it there's potential, there's potential. But I guess we'll see. Let's start with uh, Scary Comp version 77. The person who recorded this is known as Creed, and it just so happens that while taking a walk through a trail that not many people know of, something pretty disturbing was caught on camera. I like that they had to specify that not many people know of this trail. This is kind of a niche trail. Like, this is kind of his sort of vibe. You know what I mean? Like, this is his sort of vibe, uh, you know, when it comes to trails. Zoe, thank you for the gifted subs. Appreciate it. I have a ghoul or ghost shows up behind him while watching. It has happened before. It has happened. One of them spoke to me. And it said, help. I actually did. This is actually a real thing. It's on my Twitter. But anyway. It was sometime in the afternoon when this incident took place. Cre People in chat being like, I've been on that trail. How do you know? Every trail looks like that. I think you just mean you've been on a trail. Come on now. Don't lie to me. You don't know. Confused spooky ghost. Thank you for the six months. Uh, this is your sort of thing. You're going to enjoy this. <clears throat> Reed had just started hiking only an hour ago, but for some unknown reason that still haunts him to this day, the woods all of a sudden went quiet. Creed immediately sensed that something wasn't right. He sees a bunny crossing the trail right in front of him when it suddenly stops dead in its tracks. Feeling baffled and a bit scared, he takes out his phone BB and captures Halo this. Rainbow Dapper, BB Halo Rainbow Dapper. Thank you, Hope BB Lee, for the six months. Anyway, sorry, let me tell us. And a bit scared, he takes out his phone and captures this. What does he capture? The rabbit is still. That is odd. Rabbits usually would just fucking leg it, so that is a bit weird, but like. Again, this is nothing more than just a bit weird. Hello, Mr. Manifold in chat. How are we doing today? The fuck? I'm good, thank you. Hold on. That sounds like someone with a gag in their Nine mouth. Nine months that... already. Do not regret a single second, boo. Why would you frighten me so? Thank you for the nine months, though. That sounds like someone with, like, a fucking thing in their mouth. Like, like a gag. The fuck? How much money do I have to give you for an apology for that concussion you gave me, Jack? You put me in hospital the next day, LMAO. I have no idea what you're talking about, Kendall Bean. Unless you are Dakota Alave, I have no idea what you could be talking about. He was right there. Yeah, it just sounds like some some people say it sounds like like a like a fox or something, which it might do. But yeah, it just sounds like like someone be like muffled, like go, <laughs> you know, like sounds like that sort of thing, which that would actually be pretty creepy. Not paranormal though, just like help, bro. Like call the police. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. As Creed walks away, a disembodied voice can be heard coming out of nowhere, and if. Never mind, I guess they did have a gag in their mouth. 
who else but Jack Manifold? He, you guys know. If you listen closely, you can make out what sounds like someone saying help me in a muffled voice. Really? Oh, it does a bit. Perhaps this might have been the reason why the bunny froze in its tracks. It was sensing danger nearby. Although it could be that it saw Creed and froze out of fear, the eerie- I would say the second option is probably more likely than the rabbit just felt that- I don't know if rabbits have a sense of, like, pending doom. I'd say the danger the rabbit sensed is probably the big man walking towards it and not someone screaming, help me. I think that is probably just, like, you know. Um, my guess with this one, they got their friend to cover their mouth and go, <laughs> is my guess. That's my guess. The voice that's heard on camera has made viewers think otherwise. No one else has seen when the voice is heard. To this day. What? What? The concept of people being behind you? The concept of only so much vision? Someone is here next to me and I... <coughs> if someone right here spoke, I would be like, Oh my god, a ghost, guys. I cannot see them. Don't be silly. Day, he's unsure as to who or even what was heard on camera. But as always, what are your thoughts on this? Could this be evidence of something supernatural? Or had something else been captured? I reckon something else may have been captured, like their friend doing a creepy video. Numero cinco. This is why you should never open the door to anyone or anything at night without- <laughs> This is why you should never open the door to anyone. Stay inside. Have no friends. Become a loner. D become a Discord moderator. Today. Discord.gg slash TV. We're looking for more people. Anyway. Uh, let me quickly, before we move on to this one, just quickly, uh... Came out, thank you for the 100 bits. Unicorn. That is a weird spelling of unicorn, but yes. Um, someone said, I hope the ghouls and ghosts are treating you kindly. Thank you for the 12 months off the back of that. Uh, thank you, uh, Kizagar for the two gifted. Thank you to Tiamori for the, uh, 10 months. And thank you to Candlebean for saying, uh, the James Eric concert, you gave me a concussion. I got pushed into the mosh pit. It was honestly... Great, my bit of fame. You have no evidence that I gave you a concussion. I will not be settling any legal nor medical fees. I don't even think I was in that mosh pit. There's no evidence that I was in that mosh pit. Not at all. Hey Jack, 10 months, that's insane. Thank you. Huge congrats on your fight and hope you and Eleanor are doing amazing. We are wonderful, thank you. Love I appreciate you. it. Thank you so much for the 10 months. Anyway. Let's move back onto the video. Without knowing for sure who or what it is. A single mother named Lupus and her three children had caught footage of something- Lupus? I didn't know that was a name. I thought it was like a disease. Right? Doesn't Selena Gomez have that? Boo. Ah! Christ. I swear that isn't a lady name. I swear that's like the name of a disease, right? Lupus? Someone do, do a Google. I think Selena Gomez has lupus. I'm not even joking, like, everyone's like, Jack, no, Lamau, but I, I, I'm like, 100%. Very strange that appeared at their front door. They had just woken up from a deep sleep, when suddenly, they captured this. Now yeah, lupus is a disease that occurs when your body's immune system attacks its own, your own tissues and organs. Inflam inflammation caused by lupus can affect many different body systems, including your joints, skin, kidneys, blood cells, brain, heart, and lungs. My aunt has lupus. I knew I knew I knew what I was talking about, all right? And everyone mocked me. I know my thing. I know my stuff. Now, prior to this incident, the family had been experiencing unusual activity at home. They believe that the reason strange things have been happening to them is because they live in Some could say stranger things. Do you like toes? I've learned yes. recently that I'm addicted to smelling feet. I love the smell. It's very ravishing. No comment. Let's carry on. Witchcraft is done. Sometimes, the family would spot shadowy figures lurking around their house as if someone or something was observing them. That's One no night, bueno. the family wakes up after hearing what sounds like a cat meowing at their front door. They quickly grab their camera and capture this. ¿Quién eres? I just sound like a cat. Tú no eres un gato. Oh, 
hizo? ¿Quién eres? Tú no eres un gato. Te ordeno que te vayas de mi casa. Play one month. Oh, fuck. Why did she slam the door shut? Thank you for the one month. I respect the confidence, by the way. <laughs> Some funny chat, blood is not a cat. Exact that lady was the exact same. She's like, bro, you is not a cat. What are you? Get out of my house. You are not a cat. Quit making those noises. I respect that a lot. What happened though? Why did she slam the door? ¿Quién eres? Tú no eres un gato. I fucking love that. You're not a cat. Te ordeno que te vayas de mi casa. I don't know, because she moves so quick. You can't. <laughs> Why did she run off? As they continue to record the supposed cat, a few things become apparent. Firstly, the cat's meowing seems quite unnatural, suggesting that someone or something was imitating these sounds. Mm -hmm. But as if that wasn't enough to prove this wasn't a cat, a pale looking face can be seen at the door upon looking close. It's that right. That is a that is three whole pixels. That could be a cat's head if it was in higher resolution. The problem is I can't tell because this was filmed on a potato. I, I've got no fucking idea what that is. It's as though whoever or whatever had been there was trying to trick the family into letting it in by pretending to be a cat in distress. Not much else is known about this video, which has yet to be fully explained. But if there's... Where is the air conditioning in this room? Because it is like shockingly cold. I keep getting like weird cold like g gusts. I'm like the window isn't open. I know that for a fact. I'm like, is it the air conditioning? Shouldn't be putting out cold though, it's weird. Anything to take away from this footage, it's that it's crucial to be careful when it comes to answering your door to unexpected visitors, as you never know what might be on the other side. Okay, just actually decent advice. Not like because of ghosts, but because of like fucking weirdos and like home intruders and shit. I think it was 30 subs already today, by the way. Holy shit, I really appreciate that. Now the original source of this next video is unknown, but no context is needed. As I swear this is that scene in fucking Batman vs Superman where Batman has a dream that he's at his mother's grave and then a big evil bat pops out and it's scary, it jump scares you. What happens in this clip pretty much explains itself. They just play that whole clip and they're like, This, this multi-billionaire saw a evil bat figure at the grave of his own mother. Apparently, they give you the uh, 18 months, appreciate it. A man is presumed to be visiting the gravesite of someone he once knew, when abruptly, the sound of muffled screams are heard coming from somewhere. He thinks he's found the source, when this is captured. Thump. They're trying to get out of there. Someone's trying to boot their way out. If you listen closely, you can hear what sounds like very faint tapping coming from somewhere. It isn't until approaching a- VERY FAINT?! Through concrete?! That sounds like someone trying to fucking boot the thing! ...particular gravesite that the sound becomes louder. It was at this moment when the man recording knew that the sounds were coming from inside this grave. But upon making this realization, a muffled scream is heard from inside. <laughs> the man was seemingly shaken to his core. Look at his eyes, look how scared he was! Those are his eyes and not a stock image. Could it be that someone was trapped inside? Or, as most viewers believe, could this have been the spirit of a deceased individual who was trying to reach out to the man recording? Like most videos, you be the judge on what exactly was captured. I mean, it's not that hard to fake that. But my thinking is, like, that it's probably... I'd be more inclined to believe that some, like, sick fucker with, like, like who, like, you know, like... Fucking gangs and shit exist. I'd be, I'd be more convinced that like some gang that wanted someone dead would fucking like. Look, look. I, it's interesting that it's the grave with the front pulled off. I'm saying someone's been fucking sealed in there. I feel like some gang sealed someone in there. You know. Yeah, yeah. This is the thing. Imagine being buried alive and someone hears you, and instead of calling someone to help, they just film it and act scared for the internet. Like, you know what I mean? 
If I got buried alive and was pounding on the concrete of my grave and they called it faint. Jesus Christ. But yeah, no, I'm just a little bit like... <laughs> I, I, I'm just a little bit like, I don't know, like... I would pre like I would prefer to think this was was a ghost because the, the the alternative is, is is that someone's been buried alive, which is much worse. But instead of helping, like he hears pa right, if you hear pounding on a grave and then a scream from within, and you go, "It's the ghost of their soul," instead of going, "Oh my god, someone's been buried alive," I should call the authorities immediately to come help them. Like that's that's how people die, I think. You know. Ooh. Ah. Why do people keep doing this? This isn't fair. They give the five months though. But yeah, like, I don't know. Why, but why would someone be in there? I don't know. But like, you know, if you're hit, if you're actually legitimately hearing thumping and screaming from a grave, I'm calling the police. Because like, if they hear it too, they're not going to be like, ah, oh, but it's just a ghoul, isn't it, my friend? You can't call the police on a ghoul. Hi, they're going to be like, oh my How God, someone been? might be in there. I've been great, thank you. Thank you so much for the seven months. Um, but yeah, like, all right, if they open it up and no one's inside, then you go, oh my God, that was a ghost. That's so creepy. But like, you might as well check, you know? I don't know. Watch a goblin sighting. What? I like this. Watch a goblin sighting. They are real, lol. I like that. I like, I like to believe the goblin. I would love if goblins were real. They're not, you know, have you seen those those TikToks? Uh, I've forgotten his name right now. The guy is like, where's my wallet? Swear it was in my pocket. That guy, whatever his name is, Nico B. Have you seen his fucking uh, TikToks about like, if uh, if there was a goblin in McDonald's and he just, he, he does like, he does like him like ordering a McDonald's, but a, a, a goblin enters the McDonald's. You know what? Before we move on to number three, we're going to watch one. Uh, we're going we're gonna to watch one because it is like, it's peak, it's cinema. Uh, Nico B. Uh, goblin. Uh, this is my- Okay. You guys aren't even ready for this. Impression of a guy waiting for a Mackey's and a, a goblin walks in, unsuspectingly, and they have to make small talk. What the fuck? Yeah, you can stand in. Now you have to order on the on the like, electric boards over there. Can you do to lift? Alright. Ow, stop fucking pinching me! What's that for? What are you do? Yeah, curry sauce. What the fuck are you doing? Order on the board! I'm not a board! You fucking idiot. What are you do is he yours? Well, it's not with me, he's just a fucking goblin! <laughs> I didn't realise there was goblins here! Fuck yeah, 76. Cheers. Someone He let him order at the two or something. What the fuck are you doing? I love it so unedited that you can see him to the camera. I fucking love that. I'm not bored! The fuck? It's great. But anyway, yeah, we should watch some Goblin Titans later. Because I, I reckon it'll go a lot later. Anyway. First we gotta watch more ghost stuff. But but later, yeah, Goblin Titans, absolutely. At around 3.50 in the morning, a man living alone in an evil hour. That's why you don't drink the Among Us potion at 3.50 a.m. Do not drink the Among Us potion at 3.50 a.m. Do not call Freddy Fazbear at 3.50 a.m. Do not. You know what? No. Inside an apartment, wakes up to the sound of footsteps going up his staircase. As he cautiously walks over to the stairs to see who's there, something bone chilling is caught on camera. Bone chilling? Now, not too long ago. Guys, wrap up warm because our bones are about to be chilled, all right? The man in this video, whose name is Aaron, had received terrible news from the police regarding. <laughs> I'm about to say something, and they tell you not to ever judge a book by its cover, and I, and I, I'm absolutely about to do that. But this is, and I'm gonna, and. Look, I already am going to doubt Aaron, and I'm sorry, but my, and you want to know why I'm doubting Aaron? He's quite the attractive fellow, and that makes me think that he's a TikToker of some kind. And then whenever someone who makes, like, like I don't know why, but I, I just don't trust him no more on account of him being conventionally attractive. I feel like he's a TikToker and I feel like he's just filmed this for TikTok content and it's not real. 
I, and you know what? That is a terrible thing. That's a terrible thing of me. I should never judge a book by its cover. And you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. But I'm, I, I'm just going to come out and say it. Those are my exact thoughts. Regarding his downstairs neighbor, who had not been seen for weeks. As it turns out, the rotting stench that Aaron had been smelling for a while. <laughs> this is a reaction of it. This is definitely becoming a reaction image, surely, surely, like, I, I, in fact, I feel like next Thanks time me and my- video man. Also, boo. I appreciate it, thank you so much. I feel like next time me and my friends hang out and we tweet it, this is gonna all, be all the replies, just the smell. Fucking, th that is it, that is a prime image. I respect this guy. You know what, I hope he is doing this for content because his content so far is great. Mm. I give XXF for the prime. Oh, <laughs> the smell. Latluster dust, thank you for the prime as well. While, and the multitude of flies surrounding his neighbor's window was all because of a body. <laughs> oh, wait, that's actually not very funny. I've just, I kind of like, I was like, my God, he just posted about his stinky neighbors, how like they had a, like a stench and there was like flies. And then, and then like I hadn't acknowledged the words that had entered my ears, which was, there was a body. And I was like, and then, and then as I was laughing, I was about to come, I was like, oh. It, it took a minute, it took a minute. It, I'm sorry, I, 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 I processed the inflammation very slowly. The inflammation? The inflammation, very slowly. That was decomposing inside. Yeah, now I- His neighbor, now, according to the- Now the, the smell image isn't as funny. Police had passed away in his own apartment. Considering that Aaron lived right above him, he was deeply unsettled by this news. So much so that the thought of them dying right beneath him keeps him up at night. But on one occasion, Wait, what? Multitude of hearing that Aaron lived right above him, he was deeply unsettled by this new own apartment. Considering that Aaron lived right above him, he was deeply unsettled Six by this news. Wild. <laughs> thank you for the seven months. It's not even six. You were wrong, but thank you. So much so that the thought of them dying right beneath him keeps him up at night. Can I be for real? Like, yeah, you'd be a little bit unsettled, but I don't... I think I'd still sleep. I, I could sleep somewhere knowing, knowing someone died below me. That wouldn't bother me. I'd be like, oh, that's a shame. But I, it wouldn't stop me going to bed. I don't know. But, hey, uh, each to their own, man. I can kind of get why that would creep you out at the same time. Half a year but is wild. Thank you for half a year. Occasion, it was more than just a thought that kept him awake. It's 3.40 in the morning when Aaron hears a creaking sound from a staircase. Oh no! Watch. I will. Yeah, no, I, I'm already saying that this is fake. No offense, I, I, I like, I, I hate the fact that I'm right about him. When I looked at him and went, this guy's definitely a TikToker. I hate the fact that I'm right about him, but that's the fucking TikTok font, baby. This is a TikTok, and that I don't want to check it just reeks of like I'm I'm milking my neighbor's death for content, which is kind of like look. Don't send the guy any hate because hey, maybe no actually let's watch it first before I say this. Feel a cold rush down my body, instantly freeze up. Can I just focus and I've got chills all over my body. <laughs> this whole bit feels so heavy and I feel the presence of someone near me. Is that it? Uh, is this whole video just like reading? I'm just reading fan fiction potentially. Like maybe this is real, but like, hold on. Really fighting looking around this corner. I feel like I'm literally just fucking... Like... Bro hit potentially seeing the ghost of his dead neighbor with the, Here we go! 
the the use of emojis is really just like you know. <laughs> Here, here we go! Meow! The fuck? What is this? This guy writes interestingly. He's an interesting critter. Who, who's like, we uh, might see the dead, might see the ghost of my dead neighbor. I'm terrified. Here we go! Fuck it out. But alas, there is nothing. <laughs> I love this. The water started running. Nobody is in there. Source, trust me. He doesn't like open the door to prove it. He's just like... Source, trust me, bro. Months. Fuck's sake. This guy's great. I love this guy. He's like so fucking nonchalant about all this. Hello, camera. Oh, yeah. Guys, my camera's unfocused and I got chills all over my body. Source, trust me, bro. I don't want to go in there, but I have to check. I want to run out the front door, TBH. TBH. I'd pick you up. Toilet cover has moved and it's filling with water. That's weird. Eerily, Aaron feels a chill run down his. I'm really confused. So, so the so no, they didn't turn on the tap. It was the 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 toilet did a weird thing. Is that- I'm confused. I must admit, I don't know how someone would have left that room without, like, him catching it on camera. So that is- that that's at least promising. Because I was like, is, is he just gonna put- no one's in there, trust me. And that's all we see. But, like, he, he showed it. There, there was no one in there. But I, I think maybe his toilet just broke. Spine, as he senses a presence nearby. He's even more unsettled when he hears a sudden noise come from the bathroom, as if someone is hiding inside. He finds it strange that ever since his neighbor passed away, unusual things have been happening in his apartment. For yeah, no, that whole video was literally just him standing on the stairs and putting in text, I got goosebumps and chills, something wasn't right. And like literally nothing happens on camera, and then his toilet does a weird thing, which was a bit weird. But I don't know, I just, this... The thing that bothers me about this one is, you know, maybe it's real and like, you know what, maybe I'm like a dickhead for saying this, but something like, it feels to me like some TikToker lives in an apartment and then his downstairs neighbor died below him and, you know, the body was rotting in there for a while, which is gross, but then they've kind of milked it for content because they obviously made the TikTok about, like they made the TikTok about it, which is fair enough, like it, I wouldn't, but like, Whatever, if you want to make a TikTok about how they found a body beneath your house, then do it, I guess, you know. But then it feels to me a little bit like exploit. I don't know, I feel like that, I, my guess is that that TikTok probably did well. And then I'll tell you what, I bet you can find the source for the video in the description. Oh, okay, you can't. I don't know though. I'm just a bit like. Evie. Evie Evan. Evie Evan, whose name I'm pronouncing correctly. Thank you for the five gifted subs. I definitely didn't meet you in person and you told me I was pronouncing your name wrong. I'm saying it completely right. Yeah, it just feels like maybe a little bit disrespectful. 
Like, like honestly, honestly, genuinely, if this guy genuinely lives as a ghost in his house and like that was real, then whatever. Like, I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna judge. But I don't know. I just, I don't know. You know, there's something about it that makes me go like, ah, this could be a little bit exploitative. But I don't want to send the guy any hate on on the chance that obviously like, it isn't. You know, I just, I, I, I maintain a level of skepticism. From lights flickering on their own, to the occasional footsteps heard on the staircase, it's all becoming too much for Aaron. However, on another night, Aaron oh, immediately more. takes out his phone to there's record more. the strange there's occurrence more. that is happening at this moment. But what he captures is pretty creepy. Take a look. Okay, he's going back up the creepy stairs, the goosebump stairs. Cat emoji. I was bouncing on his little bed. Three little monkeys are bouncing on his bed. Here we go again. The f lights. <sighs> Ooh. See? Bit of you, thank you for the raid. Let's do it again. That is a little bit weird. Not gonna run. <clears throat> oh shit! <clears throat> oh shit! The lights mysteriously flicker and things. Yeah, nah, that's gotta be string, surely. You know what, when it, you know what, there was a moment there, unironically, where I was willing to be like, oh, maybe this is real, when the lights were flickering and the shirt was just like kind of moved a bit. Uh, and I was like, oh, that's weird, bro. Like that, that is strange. And then when two bottles fly, and, he, and for some reason he only freaks out at one of them. Like, he doesn't freak out the first bottle flinging, but the, when the second bottle flings in exactly the same fashion, he's like, Oh, that's too much! Two! I can handle it once, but twice? Hell no! Nah. Like, uh, that, that's a little bit like... <coughs> <coughs> that strikes me as I only... Uh, uh, that strikes me as I stuck around to film more because I knew more was happening and not... I got genuinely startled and ran away. <coughs> <coughs> Which now bothers me more because I genuinely feel like this is exploitative of a dead neighbor. ...eerily move on their own as though an unseen presence had done this. It was after this night that Aaron became extremely concerned. Something is not right in his home and he has no idea how to fix it. Feeling helpless, he oh, found more. it necessary to take the advice of one of his viewers as a last resort. According to them, by burning a stick of sage and using an egg, his home would be cleansed. Eh? Right, 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 right. I've heard of the sage thing, all right? I, in fact, have been saged myself when I did the Sam Colby video. I'm now confused. What does the egg do? Because I've never heard of the egg method. I, 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 I'm like, you know, like, I, I'm fucking versed in the, in the sage, but the egg, the, the egg is a Spanish custom. Eggs are for hexes. Okay. For, eggs are Mexican. All right. Cool. Thank you. Now I know. Either way. Uh, well, yeah, the one of his viewers definitely tells me that this guy has a, a, a substantial enough following that, uh. Yeah, uh, of whatever it might be that's haunting him. Not sure what to expect. Aaron does exactly that. But little did he know that this was not the best idea. What do you do with the egg, by the way? Like, he, like I know you burn the sage and you, and you sort of waft the, the smoke around and that's supposed to, like, clean the aura. He's just carrying an egg around. What does that do? Take a look. Everyone's saying gag. Uh, guys, I'm not, uh, I'm going to say something sacrilege, but I've not been watching the QSMP. I don't have time. I don't know your gag references. I, I'm I'm acutely aware of the fact that like so is that Charlie's egg? Did he have the the gag egg and then and then Wilbur had Tallulah? Is that what I understand? I'm not. I'll be honest. I, I don't I don't got the time to watch it. I apologize. Charlie's gag right and then Wilbur's Tallulah. Oh, Charlie is the gag. Oh, so Charlie is gag, and then Wilbur has Tallulah. I understand now. 
I understand now. Thank you for filling me in on QSMP law. That's what I needed today. Use what y'all said and put the egg in the middle of the room. You just pop it down in the middle of the room and it like fucking egg. works its magic? That's funny. It keeps going out. Okay, it's good. Okay. If anything is here, you are not welcome. Is it going out? Oh, that's good. You're not welcome here. Okay, they blurred bro's watermark. It's a little bit harsh. You have to leave. You're not welcome. He's very energetic as he's doing this. You know, he, you know, you know when you see like a priest being like, you are not welcome here, entities. You must leave this abode. And he's just like, face. anything here, you're you not welcome. Lovely day today. Thank you so much for the 25 months. I appreciate it. Thank you for two years. Appreciate it. Uh, but the fucking dude speaks like moist critical. He's like, if anyone is here, pussy fart, you have to leave. Let me tell you this right now. I got clips on clips. You better leave this abode. Pussy fart. <laughs> so I imagine critical would cleanse an abode. I really didn't want to like... You're not welcome here. You have to leave. Bro, you have to leave. This is the most TikTok fucking exorcism I've ever... If any entities are here, you've got to leave. Leave now. I, you're not welcome here. You need to leave. It, it, it's, it's literally that fucking meme where the guy's like, Why do some straight guys get so bloody pressed? No, no, he's like, what? He, he deepens his voice so fucking far. He's like, "Why do some straight guys get so bloody pressed when a when a gay guy hits on them?" It's that fucking meme. It's exactly that meme. What happened? I, I missed that. What happened? I, I missed it again. You have to leave. Oh, it just wobbled. Okay. There we go. Don't show no fears. You're not welcome here. You're not welcome. You're not welcome. You're not welcome. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're not welcome. You're not welcome. You're not welcome. You're not welcome. You're not welcome here. You have to leave. Find your way out. I think that's enough. I think I just get into spirit mud. As Aaron sages the place, the floor lamp in the corner begins to shake on its own, and a hanging object above the door. Again, this is like th this is what gets me as well. Like ghost, act like like ghost activity supposedly for the when it's genuine is so spontaneous and like unpredictable that to have caught it on camera consistently several times per video in like three videos is mad. You know, like, no, that doesn't... Ugh, Four know. months, yay, grin. Thank you so much. ...starts to move without notice. But strangest of all is when Aaron grabs the egg that he placed on the floor. There is lag. There is lag happening. Okay, it's better again. I was, I was getting a little bit of lag on stream. I was, I was getting a bit worried. It seems better now. ...or and cracks it open. Hopefully I have a bad spirit in here. Hopefully I have a bad spirit in here. Ho it's like a fucking Pokeball. Hopefully it caught the bad spirit. I hope we got the bad spirit, guys. I think the lag should be should be over now. If, if you're maybe some mobile viewers will be experiencing it, but it's done. Don't worry. Something. Let's see if he's got a bad spirit. There. A dark substance comes pouring out of the egg, which doesn't appear to be a good sign, as viewers state that if the egg comes out looking like this, then something is definitely not right in this home. He caught a bad spirit. So, so let me ask you this. How do you do that, chat? Because I, I, I genuinely don't know how, how, I assume this is faked, but how would you do it? It's weirdly watery. Yeah, no, it doesn't seem like egg yolk at all. Expired egg, needle, inject, fake egg. A lot of people are saying you could easily do it. All right. Because I, I don't know how, but I... Might be present, as they state. Feeling more concerned than before. Is this like a, a stock image of a creepy home? 
In fact, wait, you remember that you remember that fucking paranormal PI game I played? Isn't this the home from that game, but in real life? Like I swear, like like there was like the kids' bedroom at like up, up the top of the stairs, and then like if anyone remembers that stream, I swear this I is the layout. I lost seventeen months. These videos are very comforting. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thing evil might be present, as they state. Feeling more concerned than before, he tries a different type of sage in the hopes that burning this one would cleanse his home for sure. Hello, Jack. Currently the in windows. English. Anyways, currently five weeks on testosterone. Oh, nice. Just wanted you to know. Love you, Jack. Manifold Thank chat. Thank you, I appreciate it. Hope it's all been going well. Enjoy English. To open as advised by his viewers and proceeds with the second cleansing. Okay. Here we go. So if there's a demon in here, you are not welcome. A demon? Why is it a demon now? I thought it was just your dead neighbor, mate. Why, why, why is a fucking demon came along with them? You're not welcome. It's It's barely lit. You know, people don't think that you're real. I don't. People actually think that you don't exist, but I want to show them. So show yourself. Fuck off, mate. Wait, hold on. Manifold hold chat. on. Do you want to get rid of the demon in your home or do you want TikTok content? Because if a second ago you say you're not welcome, now you're like, by the way, people don't think you're real. So if you could like uh, show them, that would be grand. Uh, th this guy. Fuck off. Also, I have a theme. Thank you for the 32 months. That's insane. Thank you so much. I know I, I want you. <laughs> you're not welcome. You're not wor welcome. Though, if you want to do anything before you leave to prove to the TikTok viewers you're real, that would be great. Thank you. Why would you taunt it and say, people don't think you're real, by the way. Fuck off. Don't be... Don't be scared. Don't... You're sending this demon some mixed messages, brother. Show yourself. Come out. Okay. Something's definitely showing itself. But it's okay because I got the sage on this. It's purely lit, but it's okay. It's still lit. I'm okay. Yeah, you're fine, man. Nothing can get you if you have your on fire leaves. I'm scared of going on this corner. Oops. See, see, see. Here we go. Turn on this light. Really not, I just want to turn around. What? Okay. Well, if you're here, you have to leave. Fuck off, bro. He like keeps going. Oh, if you want to show yourself, if you want to show yourself. It does. Something, it supposedly does something, and he's like, "If you're here, you have to leave." Kind of. He, he like remembered his own narrative. Egg. Do something to this egg. Move it. Do something to this egg, which I'm filming and not covering with my sage. I'm not conveniently covering this egg with my sage. Again. Okay. Maybe it left out the window or something. Of course. Logical. Okay, let's go do the egg. So I can leave my apartment. <laughs> There's nothing on my hand, I think. Oh yeah, people think it's fake. This is the thing. I love these ones where like you can tell the people have clearly accused them of the other videos being fake, because they are. So they like make every effort to prove it's real in like the next video. He's like, look, nothing in my hand, nothing in my hand. He's like a fucking magician. I wanna get out of here. Okay, here you go. I don't know why. Mysterious footsteps are heard going down the stairs, and the egg, unlike before, comes out looking darker than ever. Understandably, Aaron was freaked out of his mind. What the fuck is that picture, my guy? It's terrifying. It's the scariest thing I've seen out of all of this. Mind. Even his friends who came over to visit him were left baffled after seeing something very strange happen right before the.
he has filmed so much shit. Just the just the sheer quantity of videos or just already should tell you it's fake. No one catches this much fucking footage. Rise. It was only a few days later after staging the place when the following happened. Okay, so he's the TV turned off. Right. The evil entity isn't hiding anymore. It is out and it's out to get him! It's only a matter of days! No. By itself. The TV turned off by itself. It, 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 there was this little alert that popped up beforehand saying if you don't touch the remote within five minutes, it's gonna power down. Uh, and we ignored that and the TV turned off by itself. Can you believe this, guys? It must be a demon. This has been happening too. What? Happening too. The remote moved. Oh my god. Something like that, dude, you gotta. I, I feel like I've seen that before. You gotta. Whenever since I was young, you gotta like, call it out or something. Like. You just gotta. You just that gotta is call it like, creepy. Literally, dude. bro, just like, is anybody here? Is anybody here? It's like. It's no, no, you just gotta. You just. Anybody here, sir? The remote strangely moves on its own, like most things inside Aaron's apartment. It's worth noting that no strings can be seen around, and how it glides seems impossible to achieve with someone pulling it from behind the phone. The copium! The copium! The straw clutching! They're like... As it, it, it doesn't look like there's any strings in sight, and I just don't know how you would do that with strings. Fuck me, man. Christ. With no explanation to these occurrences, Aaron is certain that something supernatural is happening. He continues to document these peculiar occurrences in the hopes that someone could help him out. But as with most videos, you be the judge on whether or not something paranormal is actually occurring. I will judge, no. I think this guy's neighbor died below him and he got a banging TikTok and then he started a series about how he's haunted because of it. And then it develops into him having a demon in his house. Because that's just comedian, isn't it? it? It wasn't my dead neighbor, guys. It was actually a demon. I don't know, man. I just... Uh, my guess? No. I think this is very fake. The egg is a paid actor. Just what exactly is going on inside Aaron's apartment? Feel free to let me know what you think. <laughs> that's really funny. Someone put in chat, can you, like, mention there's no strings visible in the video, please? The, yeah, the guy submitted his own TikToks. He's like... This has been happening. Uh, could you please mention that there's no strings, by the way, when you uh, show it on on your uh, video? Thank you so much. Oh, I don't know, man. Fake as shit we've seen in a while. If there's one thing that paranormal videos involving children never fail to do, it's leaving viewers feeling very unsettled. Yet it's only certain videos of this type that can leave us feeling this way. The following video, although seemingly wholesome, is no exception to those type of videos. I'm intrigued. The footage itself was recorded by a mother who was playing with her son in bed. During this time though, something happens that immediately prompts her to grab her phone and record this moment. While playing in bed, her child suddenly becomes fixated on an empty space in the room. Okay. He then turns around and points at a picture of his father who recently passed away. What happens next has left her speechless. Okay, I'm intrigued. Who is it? Who is it? Who is that? Who's up there? Who is it? Who is it? Not yeah, much else. that's not like a creepy one. I, I, I'm, I'm always kind of intrigued. Don't say peanut butter, baby. Um, I'm always like somewhat intrigued by these ones where like a kid will claim they've spoken to or seen a dead relative, because a lot of the time, like like that is a young young child to be like gesturing to someone and like. 
so so seeing a thing, pointing to a picture of its dead dad, and then grabbing the picture, showing it to the thing it's been pointing at. Like, that's all very... I know kids have imaginary friends, but when there's a level of sort of like... I don't know, there's a level of sort of like coordination to that that a, a young child wouldn't really have. And, you know, I'm always a little bit like... A little bit... Because I've seen a few... There's a few videos like this. And, like, I, I know of stories similarly. Like, I do have a... I, 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 from what I've heard from people who are kind of very into this stuff, kids have this weird susceptibility to seeing sort of spirits and whatnot. Uh, and, yeah, these these are always the most believable to me. Because, like, it isn't creepy. But, uh, sure, it means no more creepy than the fact that it might be a dead person. But, like, it isn't a creepy video. That doesn't matter. Like, the, the idea is still, like, you know... It could be a grief thing. That's the thing, we don't know. Like, it's hard to sort of study grief in chil children this young because they can't articulate themselves. So it's it's very hard. But but it, it, it it's... I personally am always more inclined to believe that there really is something paranormal going on there. Uh, in a not very scary way, but more of like a sort of like sad way. But, like, you know. This is known about this video as the original source is unknown, but the footage speaks for itself. Many viewers believe that the child is seeing the spirit of his father. The fact that he points at the picture and looks back and forth between the photograph and the empty space has led the mother to believe that her son was in contact with his father. If that's the case, then this video suddenly becomes heartwarming. Someone said, uh, maybe that's where the dad used to stand and the kid is trying to tell his mum that he wants his dad but doesn't know how to communicate it. Which, you know what, is a, is a very sort of valid and like, yes. Potentially. Absolutely. That is a very, like, logical sort of conclusion. Um, I, and, and you know what? Like, if you're a skeptic, cool. I, I just, I, I don't know. I've seen enough ghost shit and specifically heard enough stories about situations like this where I'm willing to believe that, that the, the sort of ghostly option is also a possibility. But, like, absolutely. Like, also, that is a valid point, you know? Like, e either or. I, I really don't, like... I, I, I think you could believe either and I, I wouldn't think you were crazy for either of them. Was the child seeing the spirit of his father? Or was it simply just a figment of his imagination? If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. Such a great email. Scaryvideos444. Let's get back to the video. Right, let's keep going. You might recall from previous videos about a woman- This fucking lady! This lady baffles me, right? Because you know my whole thing of like, no one captures that much shit on camera? Everything I've seen of this lady just seems so believable. And it's all- and it's always spaced out over like months. Like, like, this is like months later from the last time I've seen her, you know what I mean? And it's always on security cameras, so like it's a little bit more like, it's not just her pulling out a phone at a conveniently great time. I'm always kind of intrigued with this woman. I, I, I'm, I'm a bit of a believer with this lady. A woman named Lauren Combs, who's been experiencing strange happenings in her house. Well, For fucking months, by the way. We've seen this, we've seen this lady over the course of this series three or four times. Just recently, Lauren had posted some new footage regarding her unusual situation. Now, just as a recap, Lauren... But before we go into the recap, people, there's something even more pressing that we must discuss. Get straight back to watching this. <clears throat> ...has had numerous occurrences happen at home that are thought to be paranormal in nature. From the doorbell going off on its own, as though someone was ringing it, yes, to Lauren's hair that. being pulled by an unseen force. Yep, also Things at that. home have not been Happy normal since already? moving in. Also, the duck Thank you. Finally arrived for me, yippee. Hey! Ellie's in the other room. Ellie's ...concerned for the safety of her dogs, besides her own. <laughs> it's a weird way to play with your dog, just grabbing its top jaw and nose. Oh, it's a cute puppy. I'm just gonna grab your jaw and hold it, I guess. I'm just gonna grab that jaw and hold it. <laughs> I Apparently, no, I, I, I always, I know it's a normal thing and I know dogs like it. It just makes me laugh. I just think it looks funny. ...that something evil dwells in her house and has bad intentions for both her and her dogs. In a recent video... Trust me, my dog... My dog used to chew on hands so badly. He wouldn't, like, bite you. It would never hurt. But he'd constantly want your hand in his mouth to chew on. And it was very light. It, as I say, it really didn't hurt at all. 
But he, he wouldn't let you grab him. He, he, then he'd freak out. Lauren is on the porch, talking to her boyfriend on the phone. Hey, welcome to your first track is captured. Oh, yeah, she's talking to her boyfriend on the porch. Hey, when are you coming over? I gotta wait for my work clothes to dry. Yeah, this lady's house is weird, man. Is she got him on speaker or something? Ah, yes, the dog will come and unlock the door with its opposable thumbs. It can do I that. I don't even see her in there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hello? <laughs> Why would you leave him there, poor guy? He clearly didn't hear us. Hey, hold on. Oh, he hung on. First, the front door closes forcibly as though someone had slammed it. The more it happens, the more I'm inclined to be like, surely it's surely it's fake because of like how how fucking frequent this shit happens and it's very intense, but also like it's something about how far apart they all are, and the fact that it's on security cameras, and the fact that I can't figure out how it is faked that makes me go. Fuck, like, it could be the wind, it could be the wind, the doors, but then the doorbell thing. And, like, maybe it's an electrical issue, but I swear, oh, in, during this time, they had that checked or something. I don't know. Like, it, it doesn't feel fake, you know? Like, she feels so genuine. The dogs, that just everything seems so f legit. But it's like, oh my god, it's it's so common. And like some people have security cameras that I wouldn't deep that like when I used to live with uh, Scott we had one in the kitchen you know like we could have captured if anything happened in our kitchen ever we would have captured it you know what I mean shot fearing for the safety of her dogs who are inside the house Lauren runs over to the back door and manages to get inside however upon entering the house the back door suddenly closes by itself before the doorbell starts ringing out of nowhere it was immediately then that Lauren knew that this was another paranormal occurrence she had to run away from Fortunately, she safely escapes from this terrifying situation with both her dogs, but this incident was so frightening that she had to spend a few nights at her boyfriend's before having enough courage to come back. A couple of days pass, and Lauren finally returns home. But, on a certain night, something happens that leaves her paralyzed but even fear. more? Take a look. skepticism is that it took us so long to fucking show the window but like there's been all sorts of there's been like apparitions in her garden and shit but they always seem so legit I don't know why she'd open it either. I guess because of the flash on the phone. There's like a reflection. 
The fuck? <laughs> that sounded like her voice. That threw me off. The voice sounded like... So, this is what was confusing. The voice sounded a lot like her to me. So, it sounded like she spoke and then screamed her own voice. But I think the voice was someone else's. But that then makes me believe that maybe she... You know what it is? Like, so much has happened that my brain's like, don't be an idiot, surely this is fake. But like, the first few were just so convincing, but like, this one, like... I don't know, like, it sounded like her voice. It definitely could be like her just going... I don't know. Perhaps opening the window wasn't the right move. <laughs> Why is he being sarcastic? What a fucking... <laughs> That's so funny. Like the, he lets that play out. He's like, perhaps opening the window wasn't the right move. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, that's the funniest thing he's ever done. That's funny. As according to viewers, whatever was tapping on the window is now inside. Whether a stranger or a ghost, it's unknown as to who or what was outside the window. But as if that wasn't creepy enough, a faint whisper can be heard inside Lauren's room only seconds later. If you listen closely, it kind of sounds like it's saying hey or hi. Like the thing that gets me is so much has happened. Like, so much. And I'm just a bit like, how does so much happen to one person? But it's, when it's all on security cameras and it's all over the course of months, I'm a little bit more inclined. And some of the stuff is like, I'm, I, I can't see how, how you would fake it. But then, like, with that last one, I can see how you would fake it. So I'm a little bit like, I don't know. I'm just, uh, I don't know. Like most incidents, this one has left Lauren considering whether or not she should move out. You that could just that be the wind. Be but I feel like, at this point, there's, like, a lot has happened that is seemingly believable enough for me to be like, yeah, that could be the wind. But actually, like, probably not. As if she did. But until she does, it seems likely that the activity in her home will continue and perhaps intensify, as seen in previous videos. Just like those... This one. She had a hair pulled and books flew off a shelf once. I don't know. Man. Remains a mystery. Thanks for watching. The hair pull does look real. This is the thing. This is the thing. I just... So much of it seems real. I just don't know how you would fake it convincingly. Videos that the activity in her home will continue and perhaps perhaps intensify. I don't know, it's like, hold on. I don't know. And perhaps intensify, as seen in previous videos. Just like those, this one remains a mystery. All right. Let's do it then. We always do our recap at the end when we say which ones we believe the most and which ones we don't. So, number... So, let's start with the least believable, which I would say today was... Uh... Okay, number three. The, uh, the TikTok guy with the eggs. Absolutely a million percent fake. Everything about it. The fucking cat emoji, the story, the... the, the... The fucking brown eggs and shit is absolutely, my, from a mile away, definitely fake. Number three, out of all of them, the fakest. Then I would say the second most fake, in my opinion, is probably, it's actually not a bad selection today. Um... I'd say number six with the with the rabbit and the disembodied voice. This one. The reaction doesn't he doesn't jump. Like I think if you heard a voice like that, you'd fucking jump. He like slowly like backs off and then runs. I don't know, I just it sounds too human, like someone's definitely just like, you know, uh, it's definitely not a ghost, you know. I don't know, I just, 
uh, I feel like he had a friend cover their mouth and shout. I just, I don't know. Oh, uh, what was number five? Oh, that weird cat thing. That is weird. It doesn't look like a cat and it's making cat noises. That's definitely odd. Uh, but then... You know what it is? I think it's just, I, I think it's just like... It, it, this is actually a relatively believable bunch. Usually there's a lot of really like obviously fake ones, but this is a relatively believable bunch. So this has to be the third least believable, because I reckon that could just be a bloke like lingering over there making some weird cat noises. That or it, it might actually could be a cat with the fucking shit resolution. Like, it's so hard to tell. It could be weird as well, though. Like, it is a little bit odd, but I don't know. You know what I mean? I'm just not... Uh, like, like it's the third least believable. Like, the only blatantly fake one is number three. And then I'd say number six is also pretty bad. But this one, yeah, pretty, pretty poor. Would you do a live of TV's darkest moments? Perhaps. I'm not sure. Um, then I'd say uh, the least believable after that is probably uh, number... Probably number four. The the banging on the on the grave. I, I'd say it's probably just added in post. You be the judge on what exactly... Could it be that someone was trapped inside? Like most videos. I know. Really? If you listen... I'd say this is probably just, you know... Mr. Manifold, I, a broke lesbian college student, have been subbed to you for a whole year. Living off of student loans with no income, and I choose to find joy in your spooky video streams and strawberry rhubarb pie. Have you had the chance to try it? I yet? haven't, and I Less really am three. disappointed because that sounds lovely. But thank you so much for the uh, 12 months. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> now that one seems like it could probably be fake as well. I'm putting that in number four. Uh, I think that's more believable than the cat, but like marginally. I don't know. I like the cat and that are on a level. I say least believable by far though. Number three, then uh, number six with the uh, the weird pathway. That's the thing. Three and four are kind of on par. Uh, sorry, five and four are kind of on par. I'm not a hundred percent sure which one. They're pretty much equal. Then I'd say number one. I find this lady to be gen genuinely quite believable and nothing there was too weird. Like, the door slamming by itself and all that was like, it's kind of odd and I don't know how you'd fake it. Uh, like, nothing jumps out to me as being obnoxiously faked. Uh, but she's just done. She's She's got so many videos, I'm beginning to get skeptical. Purely based off of the number. And then I'd say number two is by far the most believable. The one with the little kid, like, pointing at the wall. There's anything with little kids pointing towards things when there's been a dead relative recently and they seem to be gesturing towards that relative as well. Like, any kid pointing towards, like, as if they're seeing something and then referencing a dead relative, to me, is believable. I don't know what it is. Like, that just... The narrative's believable. I don't know. I'd say that is the most believable one. Uh, and then number one is the second most believable. I, I, but, I don't know. Her, her, her sheer quantity is beginning to make me skeptical of her, but... She's like the type of lady that I'd like to go to her house and just see for myself. Because I'm honestly willing to say that there might be something going on there, you know? But, uh, yeah, the baby videos are the most believable. But, yeah, fucking number three with the TikTok guy. Oh, my God, that was the last one today. But, yeah, that's, that's my tier list. It goes three, six, uh, five, four, one, two. I think that is absolutely the definitive order for today in terms of what was the most and least believable.